Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to solve this interesting example which I have created for you related to quadratic equations for 10th grade students. So the problem goes like this. The perimeter of a right angle triangle is 10 times the shorter side. The numerical value of area is equal to twice the numerical value of perimeter. Find the sides. So we have been given that the perimeter of a right triangle is 10 times the shorter side. So let us take one side of the legs as the shorter side. Let us say this is x. Now we have been given perimeter. Let us say p is equal to 10 times of shorter side. So perimeter equal to 10 times of x. We also have been told that numerical value of area numerical value of area is equal to twice the numerical value of perimeter so can i say area equal to 2 into p that's equal to 2 into 10x which is equal to 20x so we know now that perimeter is 10 times of x and area equal to 20 times of x now this is the conditions whatever is given to us based on this these are the inputs we have been gi given so based on this we have to find out the sides of this right triangle okay now once we say right triangle what we remember right triangle first way what we remember is Pythagoras theorem because we know that r any right triangle should satisfy Pythagoras theorem so we let us say let us say this is a b and c the first condition we know is that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Hypotenuse square equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides. What else we know? We also know that area A area is equal to half into base into height. Half into X we know that is BC multiply with AB. So from the second condition I can find out AB. Now once I substitute AB I can go back to perimeter equal to 10x and get the third side. Now all the three sides are in terms of x. Then I can apply the Pythagoras theorem and I can find out the value of x. So what we will do now is we will try to find out what is AB. For that what I will do I will say area which is nothing but equal to 20x which we know already is equal to half into base base is x multiply with height height is a b now so we have to calculate the value of a b so i can simplify x and x will cancel and i will get a b equal to 40 units now whatever may be the units it can be centimeter meter or feet whatever it is but we know a b equal to 40 units so we know now that a b equal to 40 so now to apply the Pythagoras theorem I need all the three sides we have only two sides now so to find out the third side we will go back to the input given that perimeter equal to 10x so given to us perimeter equal to 10x but that is equal to x plus 40 plus AC because we know BC is x that's where we started and AB we found out equal to 40 so we have to find out what is the value of AC in terms of X AC is nothing but equal to 9x minus 40 so once we know AC we'll just go and substitute there AC equal to 9x minus 40 now we can apply Pythagoras theorem now because we know all the three sides so the approach is whatever is given to us in terms of in terms of shorter side so we started with shorter side equal to x perimeter is sum of all the three sides that's equal to 10x and we have been given perimeter is 10x that means ab plus bc plus ac is equal to 10x we have been given that we also have been given that area is value of area is numerically equal to twice the value of perimeter so that means 
perimeter is 10x area becomes 20x so we know the area formula half into base into height by which I can find out AB equal to 40 now we go back to the perimeter and say sum of the all the sides is 10x but we have two sides as x plus 40 so the third side should be 9x minus 40 40 40 cancels 9x plus x is 10x perimeter is 10x the condition is satisfied now we have all the three sides we'll go back to Pythagoras theorem and try to apply the Pythagoras theorem to find out the sides of the triangle Applying Pythagoras theorem on triangle ABC, I have hypotenuse square, that's 9x minus 40 whole square is equal to AB square plus BC square, that is 40 square plus X square. We'll open these brackets now. This is in the form of A minus B whole square. We'll write it down. Expanding it, we'll have 81X square plus 40 square I'm not going to expand it because I know it will be cancelling on both sides minus of 2 into AB that is 2 into 9x into 40 I'm not just going to expand that also because I know that also will cancel let us see maybe we can simplify that easily 40 square plus x square now I see that both the sides I have 40 square so I can strike off 40 square then I'll simplify Next step will be 81 x square minus x square equal to 2 into 40 is 80. Now you know why I haven't done that. 80 into 9 x. 81 x square minus x square is 80 x square. 80 x square equal to 80 into x into 9. I can simplify that. 80, 80 will cancel off. x square will go x times. So I will have x equal to 9. If x equal to 9 units, I should be able to easily find out what is AC. So let's write down what we found out. We found out that BC is equal to x, which is nothing but 9. And we know already AB equal to 40. So you can find out AC by Pythagoras theorem. Or you can also find out AC by 9x minus 40. 9x minus 40 is 9 into 9 minus 40 that's equal to 81 minus 40 so 41 units so the values of the AB, BC, AC are the sides of this right triangle are 9, 40 and 41 and that's an interesting example which I thought I will share with you so I'll catch you once again with another interesting example thanks for all your support keep smiling bye for now